Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be discussing my Ego Tractor, the 42 inch model, dual blade. I've done two previous videos on this after I received it. You can look at my playlist for those, uh, how to charge it and the unboxing. Today is about how it runs, how we get it going. So I got the seat where I want it. And I know in my other videos today that I did, you could see some dusting on this thing. I'm not kind of I mean, I didn't wash it before doing the videos, and it's definitely, it seems like this model probably was in their warehouse over the winter, because the other videos I did, you could see the dusting on it, but that, all this just wipes right off. It just needs to be quick clean. Okay, so let's get on the thing. Do note, you have to put the key in the product, and you get that in that open first box. Adjust your seat. I'm six foot one, I got it all the way back. And here we are. Okay, the first thing you need to know is the system just won't come on if you push, you know, the button once. It just tells you where your percentage on the battery is. I'm at 48%. That's all that does is tell you that. To get the tractor to actually run, you've got to push down the brake. Hold the brake in or lock the brake. Hold or lock the brake and hold this button down for three seconds. There it is. We are now engaged and running. Okay. So right now we're locked into place. If I were to apply the gas, or in this case, the throttle, nothing's gonna happen because the brakes initiated. So the system knows enough that no, don't try to spin the tires because we're locked with the brakes, with the brakes. So it's got that smart technology. Okay, so the brake is not applied anymore. And now we're gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple things here on, this, on the screen. This is your cruise control. I kind of feel like an idiot in my old, the last video, the first video I did on this tractor was, I was like, what is that? Is it like timing or something? Well, obviously not timing. I, I meant cruise control, but it is cruise control. And, what, and I'll show you how this works in a second. But this is button here controls how fast you go with full throttle. So we're on, let's just call this pedal assist one if you follow my e-bikes. So this is, this is uh, the status one. And I'm gonna give it full throttle. And you'll see that we're not, this is full throttle. We're not going that fast. So then we're gonna hit the button again into, assist two and we go quite a bit faster all right and then we're going to go to assist three now to keep in mind i imagine you're going to drain battery life quicker if you keep this up on just like my e-bike that we've talked about you know we it's going to basically be uh, eating up the battery quicker if you're gonna have it on the highest settings. It, just putting it that way. So we're at the highest highest setting now for speed. Yep, <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's all there. That's some good speed. Here is your, this button here is for your light. You can turn your light on. You'll see that it's in this corner on and off. All right, so let's go to this side. This is what we were, I was talking about mowing in reverse, right? On my other videos, mentioned it a couple times. This is how you mow in reverse. And I like this option more than I have on any other tractor I ever owned. What it is, is you can just bypass it all together by holding it down. On the screen here, it's telling you, you can't mow in reverse. It's not gonna let you. And we're gonna do that right now. So right now I don't have the, any, I don't have the blades engaged and I'm going to actually put the blade settings, which is this button here, down to the lowest setting. And I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna initiate the blades. Uh, also, I believe you have to apply the brake. All right. And I, am I not applying the brake enough? Let me see here. There it is. I just didn't have the brake applied all the way. 
and then you can kick up the blade speed see I can kick up the speed of the blade so you can kick up the speed of the blade on the fly if you want on high on low but what it was is you have to have this brake fully in before she wants to give up the the blades or initiating the blades and that's just this lever right here and that shuts them off so we're going to try the cruise control so we're going to put it on the lowest setting just so we can uh, the lowest speed just so that we can get this done without uh, being at my neighbor's house <laughs> by the time we finish so i'm going to apply the blade uh the throttle entirely and he's going to push this button now i'm going to pull off the throttle i'm not touching the throttle now and that's how easy the cruise control works now we're on the road i can i can on the fly increase our speed see i'm now in third speed while i was in cruise control i can just speed it up or or i can hit the oh yeah that's the third one there we go we were only in number two so i can speed it up and i can throw a uh, slow down the cruise control but again i what i did is i just pressed the, th the throttle to disengage the cruise control but again then again you can just if you want just push the pedal down a little bit and apply the cruise control uh, it might have to be so fast yeah i think we have to be there yeah we have to be at a certain speed before it will let us apply it but you can change you can change on the fly while in cruise control how fast you want to go here's a bump Whoa. and then just apply just apply your throttle or your brake which will disengage the cruise control okay okay mowing in reverse we were going to do that so let's let's go down back to the house we're on um i think we're on speed three yeah i got a big uh i got a big uh hole there in the road hot hole that this thing is actually a comfortable ride all right so let's mow in reverse okay so what it is like i said in other models you'd have to like apply it once this allows you to hold the button down until the icon goes away on the screen see it's gone it's no longer there now this unit will mow in reverse you don't have to hit any other um buttons to put the unit in reverse you just pull it down now I'm not I'm not sure if I can engage the blades while it's in reverse. So we're gonna apply this. And we're gonna pull up on the. Yep. It will even allow you to apply it, and we're mowing in reverse. All right, and then we can move it to drive, and we can mow. going forward and you shut you know the mower is kind of loud when it's going but the actual unit just driving around is not that not that bad for noise okay what else did i want to talk about um well we're here the screen also tells you the status of the batteries we're only at 46 percent. i am going to uh i am going to charge it some more overnight and uh, was there anything else that we needed to discuss? Oh, we should discuss how you bring the deck up and down. So the, the deck is 42 inch wide. You just simply bring it up and down. There's no safety or pre anything. It's like, the, I mean, it's, when you it look, I mean, this is so simple, it's ridiculous. I mean, there are some tractors that this is all computerized, that the deck, the deck goes down, it's computerized, or you got a gimbal here that you turn and it, and it and it sets the deck. This is just old school 1950s lever and up. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I mean, it's silly. I mean, for how sophisticated this mower is, I guess this is the most simplistic part about it is the old style. It, I mean, I, I don't want to make too much fun of it, but I, I mean, 
it is an, this is the old way of doing it i mean a lot of your tractors nowadays that's all computerized up and down maybe they were just trying to save on energy not you know or have something that could fail you know what i mean i mean how could this fail i mean that's all it's all it's basically on a folk or lever and fulcrum and it is just bringing up the deck up and down you know it's just simple and it looks like you can go down all the way to an inch and then it goes up by half inches all the way to four and a half inches i like to mow my lawn at three so honestly i'm kind of making fun of this but all summer this is this you know i don't you you know i don't usually move it at all throughout the summer unless i'm going through some mud or i have to bring up the deck because it's catching on something but 90 percent of the time i'll just have it locked on three and i'll just run it on three all right well that's it folks well thank you for joining me and this has been the Tarkus Zone.